Hello, 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 and a warm welcome to a new Q&A here on this channel. You have been asking a lot of awesome questions, and I'm going to attempt to answer them as good as I can now in the following minutes. And we start off with Ambrose Potter Muck 8 who asked me my name, my age, and what I think about Munich as a spotting airport. Now, I'm obviously Bongo Plains, but you may also call me Christoph. I'm 28 years old, and Munich Airport as a spotting airport is pretty decent. Then we got a bunch of questions from Jada Koshek. His first one is what I'm doing for work, and I'm working in a large uh, communication group for a very big international science organization based in Geneva. What aircraft type would I like to fly with? That would probably be the Airbus A350. Why have I started uh, doing videos in English? Well, I guess I would have three uh, choices for my videos. That would be Danish, English or German. Now if I were doing my videos in Danish I wouldn't be able to reach as many people as the audience simply wouldn't be as big as if I was doing it in German or in English. I could do it in German but English I guess is simply these days more natural to me and that's why I chose it. Uh, would I ever consider to do videos in German? At this stage probably not um, but I can't say no uh, for the future maybe I will change my mind. Uh, am I playing any flight simulator games? That would be a no no, would I uh, record them if I were playing them? That would be a yes. And I think actually, um, uh, if you have some games to suggest, uh, feel free to do that. But I'm only using an, a Mac computer, so no uh, Windows based uh, games. So if you know any games, aviation games preferably, that I can play on a Mac computer, suggest them. Um, and I might uh, take a look at them and maybe I can do something in the future. Alright, so let's take a closer look at some of the other questions, and one is here from Mateja Jakovic, Lufthansa KLM, that would be Lufthansa, Noel Pakman, SAS Norwegian, neither one of them. DUS Spotter, Boeing or Airbus, Airbus all the way. Then, Plane 3002, what's your favorite, A350 or 787, A350. Alex Mario Ice Talk. Uh, your favorite Airbus, maybe A318. Uh, Job Kopman, what do you think of the KLM cabin crew uniforms? Not really my style. And how many airlines have you traveled with in the past from Mo Mashlab? That would be 16, and that would be Mask Air, which is defunct now, Kimbaya, which is defunct now, United Airlines, Air New Zealand, Lanchile, Tam Airlines, or Tam, um, Austrian Airlines, Swiss, Lufthansa, Helvetic Airways, Air Dolomiti, Brussels Airlines, KLM, Ryanair, Scandinavian Airlines, and Royal Jordanian. Those are the ones that I'm definitely sure that I have been traveling with. There might have been some others that I'm honestly. Uh, that I can't remember anymore because I was a kid or something. Um, but yeah. Then I received two very nice questions from my good friend from the south of France, Happerwings0002, and he's starting off with the question, are you looking forward to start a PPL? Well, the simple question or the simple answer would be no, because I haven't planned to uh, do a pilot license. Um, that's never really been within my plans, so I guess that won't happen. But what I'm very excited to, to do is actually this year, at the beginning of the year, I will uh, go to some simulators and I will be flying in a Cessna uh, a 737 and an Airbus A320. Hopefully I can make at least one video out of it. I don't really know yet, but I'm very much looking forward to that. And then he's asking me if I'm expected to go to the south of France at any time. Um, anytime soon? Probably not. Anytime? I would love to. And then I got another question from Mo Mashlab, and this time he asked, if you could choose one airline to fly with for the rest of your life, what airline would it be and why? Um, in this case, I would choose a Lufthansa, and the reason why, I guess, is simply because this is the airline that would connect me with most of the places that I'm going to on a regular basis. It's probably also the airline at the moment that is most likely not to go bankrupt, which means if I only have one airline for the rest of my life, it would be nice that they well don't stop to exist before I die. Um, <laughs> that's a bit morbid. Well, anyway, I think that would be Lufthansa because it simply gives me the most options uh, for the places that I'm going on a regular basis. Then I had a few questions from Lucinator306. Am I a plane spotter? And if so, where? Well, if you look at my channel, I guess I am a plane spotter. Uh, where I do go fairly often to Geneva Airport, but I try to have a wide variety of airports, so I try to go a bit around. Um, 
so I wouldn't say that I have one particular fixed spot. Then he is asking me if I could do a giveaway, uh, so to say, as a thank you. Um, well, no. I haven't planned a giveaway. I have been asked this question a few times um, in the last year. I, I'm i not really a huge fan of this type of whatever it is. Um, I don't mind anyone doing it, but it's not really something that is high on my priority list. Feel free to suggest it. I'm always listening. I'm always taking note of it, and I might do it sometime in the future, but it's not something that is really high on my uh, to-do list at the moment. And that is not because I don't appreciate your support, because I do very much appreciate anyone's support for this um, channel and this community that I hope we can build together. It's it's more simply because, um, one, for me, there is like this hype on YouTube that some people do these giveaways simply to push their numbers, and I'm not into that, because I'm not in it for that. And the other thing is that I'd much rather spend some money on some equipment or some trips to show you guys something or to make better videos than to spend it on something that I blow away for one person and no one in the community other than this one person has something off. Um, so I think that's probably the best way I can um, explain why I'm not a huge fan of giveaways. Then I had some very good questions from JJW Antigua Aviation and he started off with uh, what's your favorite airline? Um, it's difficult because there's many good airlines out there and they have good points and bad points in different places but I guess on a daily travel I would say Swiss International Airlines. What's your favorite uh, plane and again difficult to say I think the A350 is interesting the 787 looks very nice um, the A320 family is definitely my favorite plane for everyday travel and from that I would say the A318 because it's such a cute little plane. And then, have you ever thought about making a model airport? Now, this is a very good question. I have had it a few times. Um, I've thought about it for a long time, and then I, I kind of threw it away. Um, and then it came up again, mainly because you started asking me about it. And um, I haven't been in the place to do it because I simply didn't have the space, the time, or the money for it. Um, now money will always be an issue with these kind of things because it's quite expensive but um, and I guess the same thing for time. Time wise I'm still quite constrained so that won't change a lot but space wise that has changed because I've moved to a bigger flat. Um, I'm definitely considering doing something for this year but I can't promise it at the moment. Hennis Aviator also had a couple of questions. Uh, what made you start collecting airplane models? Honestly I don't know. I started when I was a kid and I guess as a kid you're just interested in planes and cars and stuff like that. Um, I then stopped for a long time and then I kind of started again as an adult. And to be honest I guess it's because one day it kind of hit me that there were some things that you enjoyed as a kid and then you just stopped them and you never really or I never really thought about why I did. And, um, and then there was this thing that I you know as a kid there are toys that you love to play with but they are too expensive to buy them in the amount that you would love to have because you don't have the money. Then you get older and you get much more money because you start working but then you don't play with these things anymore. Of course there are multiple other things you have to spend your money on but it was this, I don't know, it was this thought that why wouldn't it be awesome to turn it around that you have a lot of money as a kid and no money as an adult. I guess it's a stupid way of thinking because obviously you need the money as an adult and not as a kid. But I, there was something there that kind of hit me and then I kind of just got back into it for no better reason than what I just said. Then he asked me why did I choose 1 to 500 scale and the simple answer is I didn't. Um, that was simply the scale that was uh, most widely available from Harper Wings when I started collecting Harper Wings models, so it was just, you know, natural to go with. Uh, today I would say I'm going with it because um, if you have a lot of plane models, they take up a lot of space, 
and 1 to 500 is a good compromise in size and still having some detailing. And then the last question was if I preferred the Swiss uh, International Airlines livery to the Austrian Airlines livery and that would be a very big yes. I do prefer the Swiss livery over the Austrian livery. And then two more questions from my Pac-Man. Gemini Jets or Herpa Wings? Given that I'm collecting Herpa Wings I would have to go with them but I'm I guess I would need to check out Gemini Jets at some point because I'm pretty sure they are quite good as well. Then 1 to 200 scale or 1 to 400 scale, I would go with a 1 to 400 scale because 1 to 200 simply gets too large. Then I had another really nice question from 777 Lover and he asked me what is the favorite model that I added to my collection in 2016. Um, I've I've added quite a lot, more than I've shown uh, during last year because there wasn't time for that. Um, it's a difficult question, which makes it good. I guess, just, you know, quick shot, I would say the ERJ-170 from Lot Polish Airlines. I love this little aircraft. And um, the Lufthansa A350, because that's the most successful video I've had on my channel, I believe. Um, and it's a nice aircraft model. It has some great details, so um, I think those two I would pick. Then, planes freak, how many aircrafts are in your collection and how often do you buy them? Uh, 200 plus and I buy fairly on regular, um, sometimes every month, but for example the last six months in 2016 I didn't buy a single one, so it depends, it kind of comes in waves. Then Alex Mario Ice Talk also asked me would I sell the A320 from German Wings? I don't have an A320. I have an A319 in which I did a review of, so I assume that you mean that one. Uh, no, I'm not interested in selling my aircraft models at this time, should it ever change. Be sure that I will let everyone on this channel know. Then another really great question from AS Aviation and Rail Productions. What airline do you not have a model of and want to collect? I would very much love to have the A350 from China Airlines, that looks really nice. And I would also like to have um, a plane from a Wizz Air, a low cost carrier from Hungary, because they have a very nice delivery as well. But there are so many airlines out there that HEPA hasn't done a model of, and that I would love to have many more than I could mention in this video. But those two would definitely be on my list. Then Avionics 7779X, do you take requests for unboxings? The very quick answer is yes, I do. If I have the aircraft model, I'm very happy to do so. If I don't have the aircraft model, I might buy it, but I cannot promise. So don't be too disappointed if I can't make your request. And then Job Copeman, maybe you can make a review about the Toy Blue 737-800 because my photo is on the box. First of all, awesome, and second of all, I will look into it and try my very best. Again, no promises, but I'm fairly confident that we can do something about that. Then Avionics 7779X again, and his question is, again, if I would build a model airport, I've kind of answered it already in the video, um, very shortly again, I'm considering it, I might do it this year, I can't promise, but I will take a look at it and hopefully we can do something at some time. Then the last question in this video, and that comes from TG Films HD. Are you going to make a review of the classic Happer Wings models? Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what you mean. If you mean uh, yesterday series or the old generation aircraft models, well, yesterday series once in a while I might have a model of that. The old generations, I have a few. Um, I might do it at some point. Last time I kind of hinted if I could do something, the response wasn't that enthusiastic. Um, but I guess I will at some point do a model of that, yes. Now those were all the questions that you guys asked me. Thank you very much for participating. It's been a pleasure. And feel free, everyone's watching, uh, to check out the people's channels who have asked questions. They're all great channels. Check them out. And um, with that, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out. And bye. Hey, and thanks for 400 plus subscribers. You guys rock.